Hi everybody, it's Andrea aka Violet Kitty 411 and welcome back to my channel. We are back in La Fiesta Tech uh, for the last redesign of this portion of the project. And so thank you so much to everybody who has been commenting, liking, subscribing. So much fun. I hope that you're enjoying the videos. I'm enjoying making them. So let's get down to it. Today our client is... Francis J. Worthington III, and I can't help but think that he is actually a predecessor of J. Huntington III in Sims 4. Anyway, the Worthingtons are used to a lavish life, so it makes sense that Francis would be given his very own residence throughout college. Can he keep his grades up and make his money last, or will he be forced to find a roommate? So let's go in. So Francis's bio reads, he doesn't believe he needs friends aside from the simoleons he keeps hidden under his mattress. He prefers to keep to himself and is hoping to join the secret society he keeps hearing about. Okay, so this is basically a three room home. See, well, four, I guess. We've got a kitchen, a living area, a bathroom and a bedroom, all ridiculous ridiculously they're just strange so we will definitely be making some serious changes to this i will probably be getting him a second now is there a, a roof there we go yep there is actually a roof i will probably be getting him a second bedroom in here and figuring something out but yeah we let me go ahead and evict him and we'll see what kind of budget I have to work with. Okay, from the neighborhood, it says Francis has a net worth of 14,917. Let's go ahead and evict him. And since he's not a fraternity, it comes up exactly right. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes. Now I have shaved off it turned it from a three by three lot to a two by two lot. I do need to re-justify it so the road fixes, but this is what we're working with. Of course, I don't really feel like the basement is worth even trying to create because the footprint is just too awkward, but I'll dig it regardless because if for no other reason, it makes good storage. And now that I have everything correct as it should be, let's place the staircase. Now the staircase that came with it was right here. For some reason, they didn't even put a wall around it. They didn't even, uh, there were just uh, issues. But I feel like there's a possibly a better place to put it. So I will try to figure that out. And I'm thinking it might be along, I don't know probably right along here, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so the location at which the staircase was originally is actually the best for it, but I am going to go ahead and enclose it from this side because this was like one crazy strange room with a very awkward bathroom right here. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something entirely different. So I will put that in right there and then grab the staircase, which is sitting here on in the street and popping it right back in. There we go. And that's what we are going to do. And now I will choose the floor plan for it. So the bio reads that he might need to take on a roommate, so let's keep that in mind. And I am going to create this as a two bedroom, two bath, actually two bedroom, two and a half bath. Now this will be the master bedroom over here with a very nice size bathroom here. This will be the secondary bathroom and the secondary bedroom. Just a tiny little hallway between the two. And then, They'll have a wall closet right here, and here will be a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. So the master bedroom has access to the balcony, the secondary bedroom does not. And for some reason, the builders felt we needed 
three glass doors here. I don't think that would be true. So we're just gonna go ahead and replace this with these because that just makes more sense. This will be the kitchen area back here instead of having it up here at front. And this will be a more formal sitting room and a family room. And I will find a place to squeeze in a little bit of a powder room because there should never be a floor without at least a powder room. I'm just saying. So in deciding to delineate the space, this makes the most sense right here, but we're gonna pop this guy over here. Then we will actually get rid of that and replace it with one of these. I'm thinking maybe I'll have another one here. So it's not only just a kitchen, but it would almost be a full light solarium but I haven't made that decision. Now, as far as walls, we're gonna close this off right here. We're gonna have our powder room be right there. And then this will enclose the staircase entirely. And the entryway will be well-defined this way. And we will actually delineate that with a good, you know, nice walnut arch here. Right like that, although that's not where I'm gonna put that. We'll put, put it right right like that. So this is, we have a defined entryway and of course the burglar alarm on the outside of the house because it does more job, a better job if we catch them before they arrive and then this will be kind of a nice little sitting area. This will be a nice area. We will give another archway right there. And that's basically it. Let's uh, put the doors on and the textures. Now I am definitely not in love with the exterior, so we're gonna lighten it up a little bit in order to create a little bit more of a homey feel because honestly right now it just looks like somebody put a bunch of dirt on the walls which is really kind of not that far off of the definition of adobe but using some different stuff and honestly this dirt here that's got to go i will find something else for that all right and i filled that dirt in with the terracotta it just looks so much more finished and again, I using the very southwestern papers from Nightlife plus also the Stylish Kitchen have a nice cohesive theme. They're all in the same range, but they're, no two rooms are exactly alike except for the bathrooms. They're all exactly alike. All right, and now let's add the furniture. So even from the neighborhood, the lighter appearance just totally changes everything. It looks so much better. And I've got 14,917 to play with. All right, so let's go ahead and decorate it. So now I am at 13,893, just over a thousand shy of where I need to be. So I'm just gonna buy a few things to equal that that I'm going to sell as soon as I open it up. So yeah, I am currently, that's uh, 1,024 shy of what I, my max. So that's what I'm going for is 14,917. Okay, so now let's take a look. I did go with the lighter stucco, which just lightens the whole thing up. It's just less blah. Yes, it's still light. Yes, it blends in a little bit too much, but it's just lighter terracotta roof and this terracotta everything is just lighter now from the front we actually enter and there is a little chess area to the right which goes up to the upstairs we've got a study where we will put the computer that we will get for free and a couple bookcases to the left we have our entertainment area and conversation he doesn't need friends he said so but just in case 
We've got a nice little powder room here, little dinette here off of the swimming pool so he can take a morning swim after he has his breakfast, even though you're not supposed to do that. Never figured out why. It's not actually as dangerous as I think people think it is, but probably not the best idea either. His bedroom has a good quality bed, two, uh, two dressers and a walk-in closet that I didn't put anything in because that wasn't as important. A nice bathroom which has a very good bathtub, a walk-in dual head shower, twin basins and a toilet. The bathroom for the roommate he might need to have has a small walk-in shower, toilet and a nice basin and it has a wall closet which of course I didn't do I just put in doors to delineate that that's what that's for and I didn't decorate the roommates room because frankly they should bring their own furniture so let's put them in it all right and here's Francis with 14,917 buying it on the nose let's go ahead Okay, and welcome home, Francis. Let's check this out. Oh, he's going to go ahead and watch some TV. I think he likes the TV. Now you'll notice, of course, he has no money down in the basement that we don't use. I stuck three things, a bear that will sell for 600, 4,000 simoleons vase, and a life preserver and that gets him 4655. Now if I was really wanting to game the system after I designed the house I would have just filled it with art up to his budget of 14,917, moved him in, sold it all and then decorated. But I wanted to at least keep it within not too cheaty but yeah that's an exploitation that you can use if you want like i said i don't cheat but i'm really good at exploiting and one thing i hadn't even noticed is that his name francis is actually spelled the feminine way so i'm actually going to shift click him spawn and it'll be tombstone of life and death and now we're going to rename the sim And I will switch it from Francis ES to Francis IS, just like that. And that makes sure that it is switched in all memories that anyone might have of him. And I think that Francis is going to do very nicely here in his little, not actually that little, but decent home. So don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you soon in the pixelated world. And that's all I have to say. VK out.